Hi guys, today we're going to make a delicious mussel bite. It's an onion and potato cylinder filled with mussels, bell pepper and smoked piment. So, let's begin. We're going to start with the mussels. Transfer 2 kilograms of mussels in a big pot and rinse them under cold water for at least 5 minutes. The mussels that start to float you need to throw away. These are bad. Now let them drain for at least 10 minutes. Meanwhile, cut one shallot in half and remove the skin. Then chop it. After that, heat up a big pan and add a splash of oil. Then add the chopped shallots together with 5 springs of thyme, the mussels and 1 teaspoon of smoked piment powder. Stir it and then deglaze it with 200 grams of white wine. Cook them for 1 minute. Then let them drain and cool them down in your fridge. Once they're cold, we can clean them. Some of the mussels have a beard. These you need to remove because they don't taste nice. Take the beard, close the shell and then put it loose. Not every mussel has one of these, so just check them and otherwise take the mussel out and collect them. Now cover the mussels and then keep them in your fridge for later. After that, pass the draining liquid from the mussels through a fine sieve and add 1 gram of agar powder for every 100 grams of liquid. I had 200 grams, so I added 2 grams of agar powder. Then mix it well and bring it to a boil for 1 minute. Once it has boiled, pour it into a bowl and let it cool down in your fridge. Meanwhile, take 2 pointy peppers and use a blowtorch to burn the skin. Then let them cool down out of the fridge. By now the liquid has also cooled down, so you can blend it till it's a smooth gel. After that, back to the pointy peppers. Use a serrated knife to scrape the skin off and then cut away the ends and the seeds. Then cut the peppers in small cubes we also know as brunoise. Now that's done, take your mussels and chop them into a fine tatar. You still want to have some texture, so don't over chop it. Then transfer it into a bowl and also add the pointy peppers, two big spoons of the gel and the zest from a quarter of a lemon. Mix this and then keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the cylinder. First peel one big floury potato and chop it in even pieces. Now transfer them into a pan that's filled with cold water and boil the potatoes for around 15 minutes till cooked. Then drain them and let them dry for at least 15 minutes as well. Meanwhile take two onions and clean them. Now chop them. Then take a cold pan and add a drizzle of oil. Also add the onions and glaze them on a low heat. We don't want to color the onions, only soften them. Once that's done, transfer 130 grams into a blender and also add 50 grams of milk, 50 grams of isomalt sugar and 5 grams of salt. Blend this to completely smooth. After that, transfer 280 grams of the boiled potatoes in a blender and also add the onion puree. Blend it till there are no more lumps and then directly stop mixing so it doesn't become too gluey. Now transfer some of the batter on a silicon sheet and use a pastry comb to make long thin lines on the sheet. Just repeat this process till you're happy with the result. Then bake it at 140 degrees celsius till golden. This takes around 15 to 20 minutes. After that let it cool down for 5 minutes. Once it's cold add another layer of the batter and spread it very tight with a pellet knife. Then bake it for 5 more minutes. After that, gently remove the dough from the sheet and cut it to the desired size with some scissors or cut it with a knife. Then bake them for another 5 minutes and when still hot, roll them on a cannelloni shaper to shape it. Once they're cold and crispy, remove them from the roll and then we can start to finish the bite. Fill the cylinder on both sides with the muscle tatar and then decorate the sides with some marigold flower petals. And now they're ready to be served. Okay guys, super happy with the result. Um, like always, I had to take pictures and everything. So uh, 30 minutes have passed and the cylinder is not that crispy anymore, but the flavor will still be very delicious. The, the stripes look really, really nice. I think if you use two different batters, the, the contrast in colors will be a lot bigger, but I just wanted to show you guys that even when you only have one kind of batter, the, the contrast in color is still super nice and I think it looks uh, very, very cool. So. Mm. 
that's super nice the muscles are really really well cooked beautiful texture mm. sorry the the tuya or the the cylinder is also very delicious you can taste the onion and then the smoked piment powder comes and the, the bell pepper super nice really nice bite especially when it's crispy i had one before because these are my final two otherwise i need to make more but i had one before it was super crispy very very delicious so you just need to trust me on that and there's an airplane coming by so you just have to trust me on that but when you make it at home or at the restaurant just fill them up and serve them straight away because otherwise they will become soggy in like after 10 minutes i, I felt something was still crispy but then it started to bend a little bit so just fill them up serve them straight away and it's all good um so that's it for today i hope you've enjoyed the video please let me know in the comments what you thought of the video and what you want to see next like and share it and subscribe if you want to see more great content like this and as always bon appetit